welcome back to another video, buddy. I am get out of my. Leave me alone. <laughs> If you're low, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our Survival Island Let's Play series. We record this series every single day. So if you're new here, we just are all about the motivation. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we, this whole channel, this whole, the whole mission, the whole goal is to provide motivation when you're down to maybe talk about some financial goals, just to uplift you, talk about it, and, and, and then use Minecraft as a vessel to bring people together, but also to make people better. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our series. This is our world. If you love it, drop a like button. If you don't love it, drop a like button. <laughs> just just drop a like. All right. Gee, oh God, dude, it's not that hard. All right. But today, today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be working on our, the sheepest of the sheep farms, right? We're almost, we're actually almost complete with it. We just need to do a few more things. So I've crafted. Oh, there's so many more of you back here. Okay. Y'all just keep coming from back here. Okay. Um, I did not expect there to be that many sheep, to be honest with you. Okay, this actually may be enough to finish our farm. So, in case you are new here, ladies and gentlemen, we have been building a sheep farm. Holy eaten. We started with this, four sheep, and... Excuse me? Excuse me? Do you mind? Excuse me. Thank you. And it's actually not doing too bad. Three and a half, almost... Ugh. Please! No way! Oh my god, okay. Three and a half, four stacks is actually not too freaking bad. So, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. All we have to do, this should be fairly simple to do, is we need to place observers. Hopefully, it's like this. Yes. 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 We need to place observers this way and then put dispensers on top, load them up, and then we should be, as they say, uh, Gucci. And uh, if we do that, they also say we have, we'll be the Rizzler, the Rizziest of Rizzlers. Is that... An accurate statement to, to say everyone or is is that just incorrect and I should go home and cry cuz I don't have that aura plus 1,000 aura no okay all right I'll go home I'll go home that's what I just heard they are all just like chat chatting right now no home coming go home coming but eat my shorts all right I'm not going home I got plus 7,000 aura from this video so you're welcome did I count this as one of the... I think I did. I think I did. I think I did. What we'll do is we'll count it like this. Nope. Close. That one. There we go. And we all know, if y'all don't know how a sheep farm works, I got you. Don't worry. This right here will sense that the, the sheep ate the grass. So once the sheep eats the grass, the, the redstone gods will say, yo, he just ate it. And then it will shear them once I put a dispenser on top. So that's how it works. Um, is it going to be placed like hopefully? Like, oh, it's backwards. This is going to be a pain. All right. Let's see if I can place them backwards. Did it work? I think it did. Okay. So that's how we're going to have to. Oh, please. So that's how we're going to have to place each one is like this. We're going to get real close, get intimate, and then place them like this. And that should? Yes. Yes, it does. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to place one little tidbit of redstone behind it. And then we should... The farm should be done. We got a minecart running beneath. And now... Now... We just go through like this. Like this. This just takes a little bit of effort. And we shall finish this farm out. Ladies and gentlemen... Um, also, if you're still watching, you're new here. Thank you. I love you. You're sweet. But what we're going to talk about today is motivation. Motivation, how to stay motivated, kind of how how I stay. I'll give you tips on how I stay motivated and and kind of tips on, on what you do. Because, I mean, <laughs> let me see. Like, if you're new, ladies and gentlemen, we've been recording a series every single day for the past 550 days, I believe. Yeah, it's been a while. I know it's been a minute like we had our, our hardcore series first which is like how everything started rolling how I get okay guys so y'all gotta keep me in line get out of my inventory um yeah that's definitely not it all right let's go like that and we'll put this back but yeah we start with the hardcore series lasted around 300 something days and now we are almost 
what how many days are we at we're like at 200 something days for our survival island series so the goal was to just motivate motivate positate is that a word motivate positate in my brain it's where we're gonna motivate we're gonna positate and we're just gonna inspire and we're gonna play minecraft to have fun with the boys and girls all right we got about the all lack the girls were at like 33 percent audience now we're kind of down to like 22 percent so girls step it up if you want you know if you want to get you know better than the boys it's not gonna happen boys rule girls drool boys go to wait girl boys what's the thing oh my god what's the fifth grade thing that like the girls go to jupiter to get more stupider boys go to mars to get bars shiitake dude it uh. There's, it's one of the stains. I know. I know one of y'all is in like high school. Help me. There's or uh, in middle school. There, there was a saying like, "Boys go to Jupiter to get more stupider. Girls go to college." Oh, there it is. Girls get to college to get more knowledge. So we're flipping it and saying, "Girls go to Jupiter to get more stupider. Boys go to college to get more knowledge." Get wrecked. Am I right? That was pretty good, right? I pulled that, dude. Do you know how many core memories I just unlocked? If that's something y'all still do and say in middle, high school, whatever y'all at. All right, some of y'all are going to be extremely mad about how I do this. <laughs> okay, so the goal. I was going to make another, like, hopper dispenser up here. Like, and have it go into the water stream. <sighs> y'all are going to be so upset. Here's what I want to do, though. I think what I want to do... Is I want a hopper to go like this. A hopper. Yeah, y'all are gonna be mad at me. Oh, God. Alright. I want a hopper line. Let's just start it right here for now. Oh, that's not it. Come on. Like. I believe this should work. So. I don't wanna break this stuff above. Okay. So here's what I want. We'll leave it right here for now. I want a hopper line. This is gonna be y'all are gonna be so like, dude, you're an idiot. Like you're wasting so many resources. It looks terrible. Um, uh, but guess what? Eat my shorts. All right, here. I'm just trying to do this. Let's see. I don't think this will affect any of the redstone. I don't think it will be affected by any of the redstone. So here, holy, let me click. All right, let's just put this here. Okay. So here's the goal. Here's the intent behind this. Like this. We'll turn that. We'll put this here. Okay, so here we're gonna have an observer. I need some blocks and we need some torches. Okay, so observer here, thing here, block here, powers that if it's on, then this powers the redstone repeater, and then this goes up here, and then we are going to put a minecart rail like this and then it's going to come down like this oh like this okay so what this is going to do is once the minecart comes up here it's going to sit here this observer is going to sense items going into the hopper it's going to power this block unpower unpower the here let me get over here this observer is gonna sense that stuff is going through the hopper. It's going to then power, which unpowers this, which unpowers this, which unpowers this. And then so basically the minecart hopper is gonna stop right here for as long as it needs to, to drop all of, all of its items. Now, this line, like I said, you're gonna hate me for it. This line is gonna go all the way right here into this let's see into this hopper so <laughs> yeah, yeah this is gonna be okay okay let me just get above it can i just i'll take the almost death there we go all right now this is the other circuit we have to dispense so basically we put something in this chest it will then go here this will sense it and it will start the clock it's gonna be the same thing here it's gonna go into here it's gonna sense it. it's gonna start the clock 
So now we just got to connect this all the way. Yeah, I know. There's probably 7,000 times better ways to do it. But I think... Oh, I think if we can connect this, we should have an operational sheep farm. Uh, this is just going to make my life easier. Here we go. We should have an operational sheep farm that will automatically go into sorting. So let's pray. If I mess this up, half of y'all are going to yell at me. I'm going to cry. And we'll get over it. You know, we'll be, we'll be, we'll cry together. We'll be fine. And we'll still make great high quality YouTube videos. Maybe. There has to be a better way to put these in water. There has to be. I don't believe this is not. Okay. Did that go all the way and then dispense? We're about to find out. It did. Did you just hear it? <laughs> okay. At least we know it's hooked up. All right, now what we got to do, so while we connect this minecart rail all the way across, yes, it looks janky. We'll maybe make a tunnel that looks cool or something, you know? Let's go ahead and let's put the minecart rails here and we will make our way this way, um, like this. And this will be cool. Okay, let's read some comments while we do that. Uh... Connie said, reminder, the pumpkin stem needs to be removed. Dang it, Connie. We were in the process of doing something. Dang it, Connie. But we'll move it. Yeah, look, it did it again. Connie's right. Look. So what she's talking about is this. My goal is to keep all the villagers within. This is a potential spot for them to jump. Let me remove the stem. There we go, Connie. You happy now? You happy now, you double wacky, weightable, inflatable snowman? We did it. And thank you for the wacky, weightable, inflatable snowman. Thank you. All right, we'll go like this. One here. I really just don't know how many, how many blocks I should put. Let's go like this. Well, we kind of just wing it, you know. Like this. Do we have any more? Oh, we have plenty. Let's go like that. Okay. I think this is gonna be. A oh my god. I think this is gonna be a super fun way if we could just stack up, you know? If we could just stack up on some wool, the, the possibilities are endless. Are endless. And we're gonna have to make an item sorter. Item sorter. Like this. Hang on, I'll show you. Okay. Now this is has an end to it, right? So it'll bounce back. Yep, it'll get bounce back, pick up everything, and then it'll go this way. All right, good. Gucci, 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 goo. I love you. Say bow, chicka, wow, wow. That's what my lady says. Bow. Okay, sorry. Starts pumping. Gucci, Gucci, goo, wow. I wanna stop. All right, sorry. <laughs> this is great. This is actually working phenomenally. So this should be fully operational it's hooked to our 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 storage system now all we have to do which i'm we're going to do today is i want to get the sheep up here so the best way to do this i think is if we literally just lead one by one with these sheep uh where'd that go if we literally lead one by one with these sheep i think we can accomplish the goal it's gonna be way faster uh what i'll do is i'll drag the sheep into this pin here and then i'll one by one lead them up here yes let's see how this is going to work and the question is i have to go explore you know the real world for dies so i need to make sure i have all of them yeah this is a super fun product i love my 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 love is when I get to automate things. So if I get this fully automated, right? It goes into the storage system. Auto sorts, that's like a win in my book. It's like a weird, like I love automation for things. And so Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh wait! Wait, 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 how are the sheep getting out? Holy sheep they got out. How are they getting out? 
How are they getting out? Did they get out right here? Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. Um, I need to go get leads. I don't have any leads. Oh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Okay, thanks, Connie, for the comment. David said TikTok. <laughs> David, don't do this. Don't do this, David. You know what TikTok is, David. I'm not doing this with you, David. Uh, we have one lead. David doesn't know what TikTok is. Hey, can we get an L's in the chat for David? God. I'm just waiting for when I say that and when y'all actually do it, because... Wait, where's the lead? Do I not have enough? Hang on. Like this? Yeah, I always say L's in the chat. None of y'all ever L David in the chat. I don't know if he has like a spell on y'all or what's happening. But can we just L David in the chat, please? If you don't mind. All right, let's do this. Let's do this, brother. Wow, I didn't realize that all my sheep were gonna get out of their pen. All right, but this is fine. Come with me. This, this. Y'all can come with me. Come on. And the cows are getting out. What is happening right now? Here, you can come with me too. Thank you. Um, come on, guys. Come, come. Come, come. Y'all stay right here. There we go. Um, Gucci, Gucci, goo means that I love you. Saying bow, chicka, wow, wow. That's what my baby says. Bow, wow, wow. My heart starts bumping. Gucci, Gucci, goo, wow. Come on. Alright. Like this. Come on now. And like this. Okay. David said they came up, this came back up on my recommended video, 3,000, you absolutely should do another one, every 1,000 subs, we need a video like this. Hey, he's talking about the 1,000 uh, subs, the 1,000 subs special, and yes, David, remind me, remind me, remind me as I get like to like 2,900, uh, what are we at right now? I don't know where we're at, but remind me, David, I love doing videos like that, we'll, we'll make something big, we'll do something cool with all the subscribers, okay, so here's what we'll do. We gotta go one by one, somehow. They all should be leaded out, except for... Okay, can I not just open fist this? Oh lord, this is gonna be chaos. I could feel it, I just unleaded all of them. Alright, let's go one at a time, boys. Come on. Come on. Beautiful, thank you. Oh, son of a gun. Son of a gun. Uh, gitchy gitchy goo wow. Like this. Let's do, let's see if we can, let's just test the luck and try to do two. What do we think? Let's see. Okay, uh, David, yes, for sure, David, send me, remind me, send me. Oh god, we're being difficult now, aren't we? Remind me, remind me, David, and uh, we'll talk about something in our members only chat, how plug, right? Plug. Here we go. Come on. And we'll, we'll figure out what to do. I want to do like another maybe subscriber haul video where we just put all the subscribers on one board basically. Oh, it worked. It worked. No, no, no. No, no, no. You come back up here. Come on. Chess. 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 This way. Beautiful. Okay. It's going. Oh. It's going way smoother. Then I thought, what if we did something like this? It worked. Okay, here we go. But yeah, remind me and we'll do a uh, another 3,000 subscriber special. And what we'll do is anybody that subscribes and comments in the next, let's say, like, in, the, in, in those, like, five, ten videos, we'll put them on a wall again. That was super fun. I'm super upset we lost. Dang it, dude. I'm super upset we lost that world, but... I think it'll be good. Come on up. Come on up, sheepies. Come on up, Mr. Sheepies. One at a time. Thank you. And then you can come this way. Come on. Wow, they, they're like, they like want to go into this. It's kind of freaking me out. Like, I don't know if I'm doing something right, wrong. But it's like they want to go in these chambers to get sheared. They think of the shear as like a massage for the best. Come on. Can I get two? Do you mind? 
Thank you. All right, let's see. Let's see. Nightshade. I love the comments, man. Keep them coming. He said, get in there. Come here. Yeah, he said, get in there, first of all. Thank you. And then he said, come this way. Don't fall in that hole. You come over here. Oh my god, www dot whatever dot com. Wow. Kitchy kitchy cube means that I love you. I said bow check a while. Alright, how many is that? Three, six. We got like seven in here already. Okay. We can get all these in here and then we just gotta go find the dies. That'll be super quick. I just said, what if you made a giant pixel uh, accurate sheep head above the sheep farm or you get a bunch of wool, you build up a cube over the mob grinder with a you build a cube over the mob grinder with a zombie face skeleton creeper spiders on the sides. I have an idea for that. And I want to get your I, I want to get your opinion on that. Um like your idea mixed with my idea, I think will make a great idea, in Nightshade. So don't give up on your comment. Keep commenting. I'm telling you. It will come for two fruition. It's going to be cool. I think it's going to be really really enjoyable um how we do that. Come on up. Yep, come on in here. Nope, not where I wanted you. Oh, come on. Hey, y'all come on up. Hey, y'all come on up. Here we go. Yeah, I have a I have a very cool idea for that, and it's mixed with your idea. So I think this will be a good collaboration effort. Let's get that off. Let's get that off. There we go. Gitchy gitchy goo means that I love you. I said bow chicka wow wow. I'm sorry, dude. That's gonna be in my head for the next ten hours, I think. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Um, okay, yeah, let's keep that keep that comment rolling. Like literally just copy and paste that comment every time and then do another comment. I'm telling you, I have ideas. I have ideas. It's gonna be cool. It's kind of mixed with my original idea, mixed with yours. I think it'll look super freaking cool. All right, can you get up here, big dog? Come over here, and then we'll lead you up here. Can you come up here? And then can you come this way? It's wrangling sheep. It's like wrangling sheep. No, Coleman. It literally is wrangling sheep. You jack wagon. So we hear the you hear the clicks. The farm is working very very well. Very, very well. Um, so we need one more, I think, that way, and then some other ones this way. This is actually going to work out phenomenally. Join me. Join me off to Never Never Land. Come on. Don't be difficult, sheep. Come on. Thank you. Okay. We'll go this way first, and I'll bring a solo sheep that way. Come all the way up. And then we'll come this way. Oh, no. Oh bloody no! But well, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about real quick while we while we wrangle some sheep. Yep. Come this way. There we go. Like this. Okay. Oh no! I never fell this way before. I don't know where I'm going. There we go. Um, hang on. Confused. My brain hurts. Like that. Okay. So, we're going to talk about today, we're going to talk about like mental health, like what to do when you're down, how to stay motivated, kind of stuff like that. Um, now, let's do this thing. So, what I like to do is let's talk about, if we could, let's talk about helping others with mental health. And then what you do is you just take it and then you help yourself with it. It's almost like you you got to know what other people's need before you know what you need is that it's like it's almost like a backwards thinking to like you know put your oxygen mask on first and then you know then put your oxygen mask on first and then oh that works thank you it's like almost opposite thinking of that but I'm a big fan of this you got to have the tools to help someone else before you can help yourself is that like a weird thing cuz by learning how to help other people you learn Oh my god, this is genius. Okay. You learn how to... By learning how to help others, you actually, in turn, learn how to help yourself. So here's what we'll do. I think we only need one more. Is this really all the sheep? We only need one more sheep? Oh my god, this is amazing. This is a magical day in my life. Come on. 
And once we get this, we're chilling. Come on up, big guy. You can hear all the clicks and the clanks. That means this thing is working, baby. All right, don't don't let me down. Just go smooth. Well, at least come one way. What'd you do with your lead? Did you lose it? Can you come up here at least? Can you figure your way up, maybe? Come on. There we go. And then can we come this way? Yes, dude. I swear the sheep are just like, I don't know if they're dumber or what. Oh, okay, this makes my day. All right. All righty. I think we got them all in. Holy cow, it was amazing. And so, now we're going to talk about... Now that we have kind of, we need we need the tools, right? We need the tools to do it. So, first tool is you gotta learn how to listen. Pretty self-explanatory, you gotta learn how to listen. If you don't know how to listen, you ain't gonna do well. And so, you need to listen to others, right? And with people with mental health, you gotta take every accusation, every every kind of word they say as a serious, right? Because most words they'll say jokingly is actually a cry for help. It's just it's the fact of the matter. It's how it is. I need your food. Thank you. And it's and most of the stuff they some of the happiest quote unquote happiest people that look the happiest on the outside are the ones struggling the most on the inside. It's a factual statement. It it's really just sucks. How that is the case, but it is the case. Like most people who are the happiest are trying to make them make other people's as happy because they're not happy. And it sucks. And I wish it wasn't that way. But it is. So you need to look out for everybody. Everyone who is who is happy, sad. Like anybody that kind of makes a joke about, let's say struggling with depression anxiety even like to the points of like suicidal ideations you need you need to take them as serious as possible as serious as possible and it starts by listening and so now we, we relate it to ourselves right how do we let's get that out of there and, and and how do we kind of how does this tailor to ourselves you gotta listen to yourself you gotta listen to your own brain what is your what is your brain what is your brain telling you you need Right? Do you need more people? Do you need more people in your life? Do you need more tasks in your life? So my brain gets really gnarly, let's put it that way, when I'm not busy. When I sit around, that pink sheep will live there forever and I will make sure of it. My brain gets really gnarly when I am sitting around doing nothing. It's just how my brain works and it sucks, but... Oh, come back here, sheep. But I know my brain. My brain tells me, Coleman, you need to be busy. Stay busy. Stay busy. Stay busy. So that's what I do. I stay busy. Record videos every day. It's like my outlet, right? I love having people around and I love staying busy. So this is like a huge outlet for me for like mental health wise as well. Um, and then second one is celebrate their small wins, right? And this is huge. You don't need to wait for someone to solve to find the cure for cancer or like some crazy gnarly like get their phd hey if they pass a class hype them up you know the small wins are what gives you that dopamine that kind of that, that that rush of energy to keep going and to complete the other tasks and the same thing for yourself celebrate your small wins celebrate your small wins and then they eventually snowball into massive 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 wins um and the last one Show compassion. You really, really, really got to show compassion. Really, really, really got to show compassion. And and be empathetic for them. Like, why hey, they're lashing out? Let's, let's ask why. And then also give yourself the compassion, right? Like, if you're having a really crummy day, really reflect at the end of the day and say, wow, dude, I had a really crummy day. I was a real POS to that person. But guess what? You give yourself grace. You say, okay, maybe here's what we're going to do tomorrow. I'm going to treat that person 10 times better than I treat them today. And that's what you have to have. Everybody's allowed to have crappy days. Everybody's allowed to be down. Everybody's allowed to, to have their off days. But what you do is the, it's what you do the next day. It's what you do the following day of 
hey, I'm having a crappy day, but I'm going to make it up to people. Maybe I'll bring them donuts. Maybe I'll give them an extra compliment today. You know, something like that. Maybe I'll make their life easier that day. And so that's kind of how I want y'all to treat every day, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll go through some more tips and tricks tomorrow. Um, we just got so busy today building that it was it was a super fun video. But, you know, my goal was to throw a little sprinkle of, you know, sauce there. You know, a little, little knowledge, a little intelligence, a little, little motivation. So, ladies and gentlemen, stay beautiful. Stay smiling. Peace.